<laughs> the worst day was, <clears throat> I was doing a scene um, with an actor who I won't tell you who it is, or um, and I was in the Spider-Man suit and it was at the very beginning of shooting and I was in a harness and I had to stick to the ceiling and I didn't go to the bathroom for like 11 hours or something because we didn't really figure out how to take the suit off quickly at that point. We didn't understand how it worked. Um, and I was in a harness and, and obviously it's hot so I'm drinking water all the time because I'm doing exercise and running around but I need to go to the toilet. And uh, yeah, I didn't go to the bathroom for like 11 hours and it was... And that's an expensive suit. You do not want to wet yourself in that suit. Marvel and Sony would not be happy. Um, the funny story is, is that I've been looking for an apartment nearly for two years, and my mum rang me up while I was shooting reshoots actually here on this lot. And she was like, Tom, I found the most amazing apartment. It's two bedrooms, it's lovely, you'll love it. It's brilliant. I was like, Mum, that sounds amazing. Where is it? You could literally throw a stone from my house to where it is. It's like down the street from where I live. Where is this, here in America? In London. In London. And I was kind of planning to move out here to LA, but now I'm only just moving five minutes away from my mum. Oh. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so... <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so it's sounding great. I was like, Mum, you should do it. Just put the offer in, it sounds great. And she was like, oh, I've already done it. Oh. So, great, <laughs> thanks, Mum. But I love it, I'm so happy she did. Oh, that's... But the funny thing is, is the director got too excited at times. It was like, Tom, can you, can you climb up that wall and then do a double backflip off here on or there? I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not an Olympian. <laughs> like, I have a basic gymnastic back. He would talk to me about movies that, and he'd be like, have you seen this movie? I'd be like, no, James. And he would be like, how have you not seen this movie? I was like, James, I don't think anyone has seen that movie, dude. And he just- And dad and I play golf a lot. And if he wins, he has a great day, and I have a bad day. If I win, I have a great day, and he has a bad day. But I'd lost and I was really upset and I'd been waiting to hear from Marvel and Sony for like a month and I'd been auditioning for six or seven months and it was, it was crazy. Six or seven months, four months, it wasn't six or seven months. This is exaggerating. That's what I do, I'm an actor, I pretend. Um, and I saw on Instagram that Marvel were like, go to our website and find out who the new Spider-Man is. I was like, what? No, that's a joke, that's not true. So I got my computer, I was in my bed, typed in Marvel. It comes up, I actually have a screenshot on my phone of the article that they released. And uh, I won't try and find it because I have so many pictures and we'll be here for days. But uh, it said like, we're really proud to announce that the new Spider-Man is Tom Holland and blah, blah, blah. And I like slammed my computer shot. I was like, this isn't happening. This isn't happening. This isn't real. This is fake. And then I read it again and was like, this is, holy sh... I didn't, <laughs> I didn't swear. I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. This is amazing. And my poor dog was in my bed. Tessa was sleeping in my bed, and I was screaming and shouting, and she was terrified, absolutely terrified. And I ran downstairs, and all my family were there, like, guys, 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 I'm gonna be Spider-Man, I'm gonna be Spider-Man. And, uh, and my brother Harry, who's kind of savvy, before, like, before freaking out, he was like, yeah, dude, they've been hacked. I was like, what? <laughs> He's like, yeah, they've been hacked. They would ring you, dude, they would ring you up and let you know, like, it's not, they wouldn't just put it on Instagram. And I was like, yeah, that's kind of true. So I rang my agents, and then Kevin rang me. And I was like, hey, I just want you to know that we want to cast you as Spider-Man. And I was like, I know, Kevin. And go have a well, I was have planning on doing that today. Yeah? But our flight, like, for some reason, we were flying into San Diego. I fell asleep and woke up, and the captain was like, welcome to Ontario. What? And my buddy, who, who was <laughs> traveling with me, we were like, what? what are we? And I thought Ontario was in Canada. Yeah, yeah, there but is But basically, there. we'd, like, rerouted because we'd run out of fuel or whatever. But there was a moment of panic that I thought I might miss today. No. But we made it in time. Like literally Even just Spider-Man misses his fight sometimes. Yeah, no, I it mean, was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. It was so scary though, waking up and be like, welcome to Ontario. I was like, I've stayed on the plane too long no! and I've gone to the wrong place. <laughs> this is terrible. What fans suggested to Marvel that I should go to a high school undercover. Right. And it was completely a joke, and Marvel took it completely seriously. I guess they didn't get my British sarcasm. <laughs> yeah, they do that. And uh, yeah, so the next thing I know, I was like, had a backpack with a pencil case on my way to Bronx School of Science. Oh boy. Did they let you go to actual class? Yes, yeah, I went to school with a fake name and a fake accent. Um, Did you have a fake mother drop you off at the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, they brought Marissa Tomei in just for that weekend. <laughs> um, but, uh, but, yeah, and Bronx School of Science is a school for genius, genius kids. Genius kids, right. And I am no genius. You're not? No, I, even the teachers didn't know that I was not a real student, so they would bring me up to the front of the class and be like, what do you think, new kid? I'm like... I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> um, so it was, 
It was you're like the worst narc there is. <laughs> yeah. like, you're like, <laughs> like a very bad narc. Yeah. Did, did they ever figure out that it was you? Or like when the movie came out, did you ever tell them that it was you? Well, I had, I had one funny experience. I was sat at the back of a classroom next to quite a pretty girl. And uh, eventually she's like, so dude, what's your deal, man? <laughs> I was like, well, do you want to know my secret? <laughs> she's like, okay. I, like, I match the Spider-Man. <laughs> She's like, dude, you're nuts, bro. You're like, nuts. I was like, no, seriously, I'm actually an actor. I'm British, and I'm, I'm playing Spider-Man. And she didn't believe me. Of course she didn't believe me. That's Super a ridiculous wasn't out story. Yet. I know. Yeah. Did you talk to him while that was going on? Because you guys did a film together. Yeah, I, I, I sent him a, a text asking him if he could let Kevin Feige know that he'd work with me. And he replied saying, he was like, yeah, I'll tell him that you're really unprofessional, you never learn your lines, and you're always late to work. I was like, Isn't great. It, it's so nice to know you can count on him. Yeah. yeah, that's not true. I'm super professional. So. Okay. so I was in Atlanta for my first screen test. They told us 25 minutes before that Robert was going to come along and, uh, and do the audition. Literally on cue, a helicopter like flew down and Robert got out. And yeah. Came for his audition, and I was like, one now, did day. You, yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> one day. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, so I, I go into this room to do the audition, and I see Robert Downey Jr. I go up to him, I shake his hand, nice to meet you, and I'm starting to panic, right? I'm like, oh my god, this is Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. And I'm looking at him in the face, sort of going, there's something different about you in person. Do they do something to your face on camera? Like you don't look the same. And then Robert then walked in. <laughs> And I realized I've been talking to his stunt double the whole time. <laughs> so I got my like nervous, jittery stuff out of the way with Glenn and then met Robert afterwards. Oh my God. But I didn't know I was auditioning for Spider-Man for the longest time. That was what it would look like. <laughs> I did my first audition and it was from a Miles Teller movie. And then the second one was from another movie. I can't remember. And then at this point I was asking like, who am I auditioning for? Like I need to do some research. From a Miles Teller movie. What like do you mean? they stole the scene from oh, a movie okay. and I just was reading those lines. And then eventually they sent me the new sides for the third audition, which were as Spider-Man fighting a character called Blue Streak. Is that his name? The one with the rollerblades? <laughs> oh my God. That's hilarious. Is there going to be a villain with rollerblades? No, this was like dummy <laughs> sides. And I was reading them like, so you want me to read Spider-Man's lines, right? They were like, yeah. I was like, so I'm auditioning for Spider-Man. They were like, no, 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 no. <laughs> we just want you to read Spider-Man's lines. That sounds like a terrible, nerve-wracking process. Yeah, I was like, well, really confusing. it's obviously Spider-Man. They were like, no, 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 Sh shoot, shoot. We forgot to black it out. Yeah, yeah. oh, no. He, we wear, have these things called shackles, right? Which are basically like a, you wear a harness and the shackle, you tighten to the harness and that's what goes to the wires, which helps you fly around and look like Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> you basically have to tighten them up to make sure you're safe. And Huggins, who's our key rigger, who's one of the original Spider-Man doubles, did my shackles up one time. That sounds really wrong. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, George came on to like undo them and he couldn't do it because he has really soft baby hands. <laughs> he has really soft baby hands. And uh, Harrison and I... Um, Every time we saw him, we were like, woo, hey, George. And he died laughing. That was the funniest joke on the set. Like, his baby hands, I literally want to die laughing. I have, yeah. Have you? I have, yeah. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with Spider-Man. It was something that was like, it was like my life. And the first time I ever got a girlfriend, when I was comfortable enough around her, I was like, hey, uh, do you want to uh, maybe do like the Spider-Man kiss thing, like upside down? And yeah, I did it. Yeah, it was awesome. It was <laughs> Actually, yeah. most people it goes wrong. <laughs> it's one of those things that, like, you know, it's it's complicated because everything's upside down. But you know, I've been thinking about it for so long that I was prepared. You know. <laughs> Actually, no. There's a scene where it's in the trailer where my suit falls off and Jacob is in the room with me, and I had I did have weights in the room. They were like rolling. I was like, let's go. <laughs> Don't get ripped. Um, but yeah, no. I just did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that you were out. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, a dance move. Yeah, no. So oh. I. Uh, I just went to the gym every day. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone's like, what kind of regime did you do? I was like, the gym one. <laughs> 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 went to the gym. Yeah. We actually had a kid on set the other day, and one of the, a little extra, and he, I walk on set, and he's like pulling his mum's shirt, and I go over to say hello, and as I go to give him a high five, he's like, no, I hate you. Oh. I was like, what? He's like, I don't like you. I was like, okay, fine. I was so like shocked. So I went and did the scene, he walked past, I went to give him a high five, again, and he's like, no, I'm on Team Iron Man. 
Ooh. I was like, dude, I'm on Team Iron Man. What are you? Come on. But yeah, no, it's sweet. All the little kids are so sweet. For the most part, except for one. For the one. most part, except apart from that one. little kid. You're going to regret that one <laughs> you day, really buddy. Are. <laughs> they are. They're also loving it. My yeah. brother Harry has been on tour with us now for the, for the promotion of the movie, and he's had the time of his life. Yeah. You know? I'm there, like, working for hours on end, and he's just out exploring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Re like, big room service bills? Is oh, Harry dude. Yeah. The room service bill on my room is, it's always charged to my room. <laughs> right. The first question he asks when we get to a hotel is like, what's your room, bro? What's your room? <laughs> Just so I can charge it to your room? I'm like, thanks, Harry. <laughs> It was probably the most frustrating time in my life. I'd send them emails like, hey guys, what's the movie about? And they'd be like, we can't tell you yet, dot. I'm like, oh, thanks. But I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> like, yeah, but please, let me, be, let me read the script. They're like, we don't have a script yet, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I went two years ago to a fancy dress party as Spider-Man, but it wasn't a fancy dress party. I showed up and was the only person in fancy dress. Everyone was in normal clothes, and I was in a skin-tight Lycra suit. The most exotic food I've ever eaten is a rat in Bangkok, in, uh, in Thailand. It was disgusting. I'll never do it again. It was a mistake. I spent three days on the toilet. Let's just put it that way. It was literally the worst day, worst three days of my life. It looked pretty cool though, like a rat on a stick. It was kind of cool. Uh, well, you know, he put it in, on the fire and cooked it. It wasn't like he just picked the rat up and was like, hey, eat this. Like it was cooked, but it was not good. It was not good.